Yeah, yeah, man. It's the homie hood legend back with another vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stand tuned with everything going on in battle rap. This nigga Chris Unbiased, this nigga went in and shot the whole house. Bam, bam, bam. He turned the fish tank over. This nigga flipped the mattresses. He took the dresser drawers out. This nigga did everything, bruh. Like, yo, Chris Unbiased wild out, bruh. This nigga got a whole meat riding, like, blog, bruh, talking about everybody who said something about him. This nigga is doing a victory lap in battle rap. A lot of niggas was saying, like, he was going to get locked up, this, that, and the third. This nigga... Kept the files. This nigga kept all the receipts, bruh. All the receipts. This nigga kept every last one of them. And he double back, spent the block, and he shot every last one of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's crazy. The list got everybody up there from D.I. the Henny Man to NHB Mills to Bill Collector to Battle Truth. This nigga got everybody on the list, bro. Like, this nigga didn't hold no punches. Chris somebody is wild out, bro. That's why I say, look, this nigga trying to start another blogging wars. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this nigga trying to start blogging wars again, bro. He does not care. This nigga... Went wild on niggas, bro. Like, he had, like, receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt. This nigga has had battle rap on fire the last two or three weeks, bro. First, he had a stock drop list that everybody talking about. Now, he got the meat rotting list. Like, yo, come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Stop your shit, bro. Stop your shit. This nigga's wildin', bro. Y'all need to leave that man alone. You know what I'm saying? Like... Look, everybody got their problems. Everybody got their demons. You know what I'm saying? Leave this man alone, bruh. Because we all see that everybody else got their problems. This nigga put the spotlight and, like, he, he shined that shit like it was the Batman emblem in Gotham City, nigga. <laughs> this nigga Chris Unbiased was wildin', bruh. This is one of the wildest blogs of the year. This nigga started out on fire. The last two weeks, I know Battle Rap has been slow, but not for Chris Unbiased channel. I know, like, look, bruh. I ain't got nothing bad to say about Chris. I ain't been in no space. I ain't been, I ain't said nothing, Chris. I ain't said it, bruh. Don't come over here. I ain't said a thing, man. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this nigga wildin'. This nigga wildin', bruh. Hey, look. This is a crazy blog, bruh. And I say that because, like, yo, this nigga really, like, kept the files on everybody that was, like, talking about him. He did not hold no punches back. This nigga had, re like, bruh, when I say this nigga went in, he really went in, bruh. He did not care. He didn't, like, look, he, look, that's why he wanted the top block. I'm going to keep it real, bruh. This nigga wildin'. That nigga wild out, bruh. He wild. Like, y'all got, like, y'all going to have to come back. It's going to have to be a hell of a comeback. Like, yo, Chris, you wild, bro. You wild. This week in battle rap has just been crazy. Like I said, he had battle rap on fire these last couple of weeks. Stock drop list, now this right here. Then on top of that, you got show off doing some old crazy stuff. Like, bro, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Just when you thought battle rap was getting back to the regular schedule programming, smack come with this, and then now this nigga dropped a meat right in the list. <laughs> This nigga had percentages like it was a free throw line or something. Like it was a <laughs> this nigga had ninety eight point two percent meat rider. Yo, come on, fam! I was bugging the hell out. I'm trying to get ready to watch the pregame to the Super Bowl. I see the meat rider list pop up. I'm like, yo, this is wild. Chris is wilding, bro. <laughs> That is crazy, man. That is a crazy, crazy, crazy list, man. Leave that man alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, that's why, like, you got to stay in your lane. You can't be compromised. I got, look, look, bro. You, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas will come with the receipts on your ass, and then you out there looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that was crazy, man. I'm telling you. But it's a lot going on in battle rap. I seen actually Coach Coleon versus Geechee Gotti actually drop. You know what I'm saying? They dropped a, a cool little one round of joint over there. I felt like it could have been like uh, a little bit longer pause as far as like the length of the of the round. If you're doing a one rounder, bro, like you, like you gotta at least book the artist for at least ten minutes, twelve minutes. You know what I'm saying? You can't come out here and do a seven minute one rounder, bro, and expect for it to kind of hit in the culture. It's really not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just going to keep it real, bro. Like, uh, Coach Coleon went first. He did okay. But you going against Geechee too, Coach? 
This is the thing that you got to also look at, bro. When you're going against Geechee Gotti, this was the biggest battle possibly of your career. You're supposed to go in there and wild out. And I'm not saying that you didn't go in there and wild out, but you did not have a great performance. I seen you had better performances than that, bro. I don't know if you was nervous. I don't know if it was like, like preparation of your ba your bars at the last minute or whatever the case may be. But yo, bro, like I feel like that was like kind of like lackluster on your end. And then Geechee Gotti actually went second. You can tell Geechee is kind of freestyling. And then he had his written in and out, going in and out of the bags of freestyling and all this. He had a, a bar about the unique when you said, you know, shot him in shot him in the face. It came out of his neck, the back of his head. And the way he died was unique. So that was kind of a bar that hit, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I felt like that battle was not lengthy enough as you know to actually kind of hit in the culture it kind of just fell flat you know what i'm saying like yo they they, they said a couple of bars you know what i'm saying a couple of memorable moments here and there a couple of quotables here and there you know what i'm saying but nothing really too crazy in the one rounder you know what i'm saying but that's really about the only thing that happened and i seen i battle they had a they had about they had a, a battle event that they was actually streaming on YouTube last night, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, so that kind of was fire, you know what I'm saying, I seen the Solar Flare versus Pyrex up there, that was a pretty fire battle, uh, so, you know, battle, rack battle rappers go kind of pick up steam going into these next couple of months, but yo, one rounders ain't gonna cut it, bruh, and especially if y'all booking a one rounder, y'all need to book that joint for actually, you know what I'm saying, like 10 to 12 minutes to actually make it hit in the culture, Rex and, 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 and Young Ill wasn't a, a one rounder that was so that was short, you know what I'm saying? So, just take that into consideration, but it was a pretty good battle of something that dropped recently on YouTube. If y'all haven't checked that out, go check that out. It's out there on YouTube right now. Uh, Coach Coleon versus Geechee Gotti, you know what I'm saying? But, yo, that battle, for, that, that that blog from Chris, that that was wild, bruh. That nigga, went, that nigga went crazy. He went crazy in that blog, bruh. I got, I got to say, Chris, Umbias went crazy. He went ham, you know what I'm saying? So, with all that being said, man, it's Super Bowl Sunday. You know what I'm saying? It's the homie hood legend. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, man. We trying to go up this year. You know what I'm saying? New rookie of the year. Holla at me. Till next time, I'm out. Yeah.